Election Day 2008 is fast approaching. I'm Naomi Binkley with Fireside Production. It's time for Voting 101, a quick fire round with Jenny Flanagan from Colorado Common Cause. How to make your vote count this November 4th. If you're one of those involved in a voter registration recall, what can you do to make sure you can cast a ballot? The first thing voters should do, this is my mantra, know before you go. Um, you can visit our website, which is justvotecolorado.org, and check your registration. If you're not on the list, you can contact your county clerk's office and try to remedy that problem. If you go to the polls during early voting or on election day, you can cast a provisional ballot, and that will be verified after the election. It's so important that we fill out the provisional ballot as completely as possible, so we don't avoid any kinds of errors we saw during the registration process because the forms are very similar. What is a provisional ballot? Provisional ballots are sort of the fail-safe ballot. So if there are any problems with a voter's registration or if they don't have ID with them, which is now required in Colorado to bring an ID to the polls, they have the right to a provisional ballot. No one should leave the polls without voting. Um, so that is a good fail-safe. But again, in order for it to count, you've got to make voters have to make sure that they fill it out as completely as possible, provide all the information, and check with your election judge to make sure you've done it right. What happens if you show up to the polls wearing an Obama shirt or a McCain hat? Will you be allowed to vote? They will be allowed to vote, but they're going to have to cover up that communication. Electioneering is defined in Colorado law promoting any candidate or issue inside the inside 100 feet of the polling place. So there are restrictions um, and voters should just leave those buttons in their cars when they go to the polls to vote. If your ballot has boxes and you check the box rather than fill it out completely, what happens then? Voters should read the instructions very carefully when they get their mail-in ballot or when they're at the polling place and ask questions. That's what the election workers are there for, is to help us vote. Um, as long as the voter intent is made clear, so if you check the box or you circle it, if you improperly fill out your ballot in any way, as long as it's clear who you're voting for, the election workers will go after the election and make a duplicate and make sure that that vote will count. If it's not clear, and the election worker can't determine who you were voting for, they're not going to guess. <laughs> uh, they only want to make, sh you know, they're going to count the votes that are clear. What other steps can voters take to ensure their votes count this important election year? We have seen a huge uh, new registrations, and that's very exciting. And those voters want to make sure that they actually made it onto the voter list. Um, so check your registration before you go. Know where your polling place is, because in many cases, your polling place has changed. Um, with you know, again, changes to our election law in every county will be different. So you can visit justvotecolorado.org. Uh, folks can find out where their polling places are and all the information that they need. Um, be prepared going into the polling place. It's a long ballot. Um, so we also have sample ballots that voters can fill out before they go to the polls. Um, and this will help ease the burden on election day. The national organization that, that we're working with is the Election Protection Coalition. And the phone number is 866-OUR-VOTE. And the website is 866-OUR-VOTE. Dot org.